praise God, children. I know it has been a long while since I, I last uh, saw you, but I'm well. I am still born again. Before we continue, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us to hear your word, to interact with you, to learn about you, to learn about your message for the world. We ask that you would minister to us, you would speak to us, and show us even the way that we ought to go. We bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God that uh, this past week has been a week of uh, people are celebrating Valentine's Day, they are celebrating love, love between uh, people, and it's good. Um, but today we want to talk about God's love message for all of us. You know that God loves you, that God cares about you, and he has a wonderful plan for you. And God shows his love to us in many ways. For instance, uh, we are taking in air. That air, you are not paying for it. Um, it is given to you free of charge. God has given us a body. God has given us hands, eyes, hair, a mind, a heart that keeps on beating, even without you controlling. That is one of the ways God shows his love for all of us. But there's another way he has shown his love for us. He has given us a message, a message about his love. And that's what we are going to learn today, the message about God's love. And in front of you, I don't know if you can see this, eh? There is a, this is called a wordless book. And it has different colors. Look, the first color is yellow, yes. The next color is black, yeah. Then the next one is red. The next one, which, is, which color is this? Yes, white, thank you. Then this other one, green. Then finally, yellow. And, we, and through those colors, we are going to talk about how God loves us. It's, we are going to share his message through these colors, even as we talk about he, what he has done. And it's important that this message we all learn and we hear. In fact, God wants this message to spread to the whole world. And he has said he's going to come back. Jesus is going to come back only when this message has gone to the whole world. Would you children want to ensure that this message goes to the whole world? If you do, um, you're now ready for the wordless book. So, here we have the first color. I hope you are noting them down. I want you to write down the first color as yellow. 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 And we are going to say the color. And that color is helping us tell a story. So when we hear about yellow, what comes to mind? I'm sure it's something bright, something good. And for us here in this message, when I talk about yellow, yellow represents heaven. 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 And so, the scripture for, to back that up is in Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 and 4. Revelation 21, verse 3 and 4. I will read it to us. And it says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people and he will dwell with them. Wow, God will dwell with people. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, no more or mourning or crying or pain, for in the order of for the old order of things has passed away. Wow, God is saying one day is going to dwell with people and he's going to dwell with them forever. He's going to wipe away every tear, every pain, every mourning, and that place he's going to be with us will be in heaven. And so God wants us to know that he wants us to be with him. And that's why God created us. He created us to be with himself, to be friends with him. And so the first color is yellow. What does yellow represent again? Heaven. 
which verse have I quoted? I will read Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 and 4. Yeah, so it's important to know God loves us and wants us to be with him one day in, in heaven. And the next color is color black or dark, isn't it? Color black. When you, when you think about color black, um, I'm sure you may think about your shoe, which is good. But for us in this particular um, story, black here represents something... Um, this dark color represents our problem. There's a problem. There's a problem with us human beings. Do you know what the problem is? The problem is sin. So the second color is color black and it represents sin. What is sin? Sin is thinking, saying, and doing things that do not please God. Things that make God sad. For example, lying, abusing, beating people, um, and many other things. At times you are just thinking. You want to say something and you say it in your mind, but it's wrong. But in God's eyes, that is sin. And the Bible says in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us. And the Bible says that the wages of sin because all of us have seen the wages of sin is, is death. So all of us deserve to die, not just in this earth, but to be removed, to not be friends with God forever, 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 forever. Who wants that? Do you want that? I don't want that. And, I, and, uh, and you don't want that as well. So this is bad news. We are all sinners. We are all sinners. And if nothing, and... Because of our sin, all of us deserve to be punished. We deserve to be punished. If, if someone does something wrong to you, you always feel you want to punish them or you want someone to punish them like teacher, isn't it? So even God, when because we have wronged him, we all deserve to be punished. And that's bad news, isn't it? Yes. But there's good news, which I'm going to take you now to the next color. The next color is, is color red, is color red, color red. And when you think about color red, what comes to mind? Blood, blood. So I said here that all of us deserve to be punished because we are sinners. But God loves us. God cares for you. God does not want you to, to perish forever. And that's why he sent Jesus. Jesus came, he lived in this world, his son, and he lived a good life. And eventually, he went to the cross. He died. His hands were, were, were pinned to the cross. His feet were pinned to the cross. And he died. Why was he dying? Because he was a sinner? No. He was dying to take our punishment. He was receiving our punishment at the cross so that we should not be punished. And so he died was buried and on the third day he rose again yeah he rose again and now he's in heaven and be, and now if we believe in what he has done for us that he has paid the price for our sins you know what happens we go to the next color if you believe in Jesus he makes your heart clean remember your heart was was, 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 was sinful. But when you believe in Jesus, that he died for you, what happens? He makes you clean. So color white represents purity. Purity. And the scripture for blood is Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 and 22. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 and 22. Then the color for white is um, the white means purity clean and the and the verse there is first john chapter 1 verse 9 first john chapter 1 verse 9 and it says but if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so god says if you believe in jesus that he shed his blood for your forgiveness so that you will not be punished he cleanses you 
even as you confess your sins. And now, when you ask Jesus to forgive you your sin and turn away from your sins and begin a new life of pleasing God, of doing what He pleases, God gives you the power to please Him. God gives you the strength to not abuse somebody, to say the truth even when you may be punished, to not lie, to not steal that sugar from mommy's bag, uh, from, from mommy's kitchen, or that coin from mommy's bag. God gives you the strength as you start a new life, and that's when you say you are born again. So what happens when you are born again? You now begin a new life of pleasing God, and, let a, and this next color is color green. Color green represents growth. Growth, isn't it? Growth. You are growing. You are growing like grass. You are growing. How do we grow as people who have been born again, who have started a new life? We read the Bible. We talk to God as we pray. We go to church. And as we do that, we continue to grow and our behavior changes. Oh, we, we, we continue to to our minds begin to change. We begin to think things about God and wanting to do big things for God. We begin to want to please God by our actions, by our thoughts, by our words. We want even to preach. And as we continue this life, maybe now you are not doing it, but you continue growing, continue eating the word of God and you will grow. And the scripture here is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. 1 Peter chapter 2, Verse 2. And as you continue growing, one day you'll be in Jesus in, in heaven. How many want to be in heaven? Me. Can I repeat again? The first color was color yellow. Yellow represents heaven. God wants us to be in heaven with Him one day. And the verse there was Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 and 4. But the problem with us is that we are sinners. We are doing things that don't make God happy and we deserve to be punished. Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23. Then the, what I told you this was the bad news. We are sinners and we deserve to be punished. But what happened? God sent his son. Ah, Jesus was punished on our behalf. And the verse there is um, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 and 22 talks about the blood of Jesus and what the blood of Jesus is able to do. It is able to cleanse us, color white. It's able to cleanse us. And so if we ask for forgiveness from God and receive the work of Jesus and turn from our sins, we will be forgiven. We will be made clean. First John 1 John 1.9 And I told you that you are born again when you believe in Jesus, when you turn from your sins. And what is required of you, you are required to grow. And as you grow, how do you grow? Read your Bible, pray, go to church, and you will grow. And you will grow to become like Jesus. You will be more like Jesus. And one day, you will be with him in, in heaven. Can you do that? Can you repeat what I've just said? And you can make this book by yourself and tell other people about the love message of God. You can make a book. You can even do the colors like I've done here. You can see the colors again. Yellow, black, red, white, green, and yellow. Yellow represents heaven. Black represents sin. Red represents the blood of Jesus. White represents purity, being made clean. Green, growth, growth. And then finally you go back to yellow. You can do this and talk, go and share with your friends this message, this love message of God. So that's our message for today. I hope you have learned something. I hope you will make this, you can do this, and go and share this week. Share it at home. Tell your mom and dad, and tell your neighbors, then tell your schoolmates about this wonderful love message from God. So. I want to thank you for listening to me. I want to pray with you. Maybe today you have never heard um, about God's love message for you. you. You didn't know that God has sent his son to die for you so that you will not be punished because of your sin and one day be in heaven. I want to pray for you. Would, would you pray like this? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin, Jesus. Thank you. 
I receive your work, help me turn from my sins, and help me begin a new life of pleasing you. I thank you, I honor you, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. So let me just pray for us all. Father, thank you for this time you've given us. For those who have meant that prayer, who didn't know what you have done through your son, may they, Lord Jesus Christ, today, Lord, start a new life with you. May you speak to them, help them grow to become more and more like you. Thank you for all that you have done and, and lead them, Lord Jesus Christ, every day. And for the other children, whatever is ahead of them, whether exams, whether other things at home, continue to attend to them and minister to them according to, your, according to, their, to their needs. Thank you. We honor you. We bless you. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. So we wish you a wonderful week. Bye-bye.